And I want to tell our friends, my elder brother, Mr. Raila Odinga. That's Ruto calling Raila Odinga my elder brother, my dear friend. For a long time, Ruto has taunted Raila Odinga as Ketanda Wili, Muganga Mchawi. Hata ule Muganga alikuwa anasema huko Musambweni, ati oh, atapata 80%, atapata 80%. But lately, it would be very difficult to find Ruto calling Raila Odinga Muganga Ketanda Wili ama Mchawi. He has changed the tune. Ruto knows very well that with Rairo Dinga in the opposition, it will be very difficult for him. Because when it comes to oversight, when it comes to holding the government accountable, Rairo Dinga is the best. He knows how to expose scandals. He knows how to check the government. And William Ruto has decided to go slow on him. He has decided whenever he's talking about Ray Rodinga, he does it in a respective way. Ruto doesn't want to make Ray Rodinga angry. Actually, Ruto is looking for a way to engage Ray Rodinga. But the problem is his deputy Rigathi Gachawa Mimi na nimepanga unajua yeye ni mtu ya kutumia jia ya kando kando pale ikulu nimeweka mitego kila pahali akionekana ana naso kwa sababu sasa tukimkubalia ataharibu na huyu mzee akipitia jia ya kando akuje aingie kwa handshake aharibu serikali yetu mtu ya kuulizwa ni mimi kwa hivyo mimi nitahakikisha kwa hivyo rais kama unaweza kuwa na mipango kama hiyo utakuwa tayari kubobana na mimi siwezi kubali Atuwezi kubali kwa sababu ata tuwaribia. Raira doesn't want a handshake with William Ruto. Raira doesn't want to share the government with William Ruto. What Raira wants is to hold Ruto's government accountable. He wants to ensure there's no corruption. He wants to ensure that the cost of living has been lowered. He wants, he actually is fighting for Kenyans. It's pushing Ruto's government so that Ruto's government can start working. Because without Raira pushing Ruto's government, many things will go wrong. This government must be checked. And for that, Raira Odinga is doing a good job. I really don't think Raira wants a handshake. Most often, Rigathi Gachawa uses abusive and hateful words towards Raila Odinga. Huyo mzee ni sisi na ye. Huyo mzee amesumbua Kenya for the last 60 years wakiwa na baba yake. Wakati ya kumalizana na hiyo mtu ni wakati huu. Na ataeda akiedanga. In fact, Raila Odinga is not going anywhere anytime soon. So for those who think that they are going to force him into retirement or they are going to send him to Pondo, let them contend with this reality that Rairo Dinga is much around, is very active in politics than ever before. And that's why you see it's giving the government hard times. Now, you know, most often we think that Rairo Dinga is completely finished. It's completely down. He will never rise up. Then again, he rises, he rises up. And now you can see the way he is now. He's very active. He's pushing the government than another person. So for those who think Rairo Dinga is going to retire, or they don't know, Rairo Dinga is much around, is much active in politics, and we need him around because yet we have not seen a replacement of him. I don't see any politician in Kenya who can hold uh, Ruto and the Gachawa government accountable. Because if Raira Odinga chooses to keep quiet and maybe he chooses to retire, just know Kenya 
will be a totally different country. Finally, let me say this. Let Rigat Gachawa engage in issue-based politics instead of personal attacks towards Ray Odinga. As a deputy president of the Republic of Kenya, he should show respect towards Raira Odinga. You know, politics is not an enmity. This is, you know, people with different ideologies. People differ on issues and disagree. But when politics degenerates to personal attacks, then that's not politics. Politics is just to advance democracy. Politics is to advance governance. Just to ensure we have checks and balances. There's accountability. There's oversight. That's why we have the government and then we have the opposition. Both of, both of them have important roles to play. 